Hi guys, welcome to Trade for Learning channel. This is a channel where we will learn option trading as a business instead of just trading. This will be helpful for the person who is not having enough time to indulge in the market and see every minute and then the charts and all those patterns and all. So we can utilize this option trading as a business. So you guys can refer these videos as a trading platform to learn and experience before indulging your hard money. So this is what actually I am doing. In this videos, I will be tracking practically option trading strategies as a paper trading before started investing a real money. So in few months, we are going to plan investing a real money and we will start. This is a slow steps with a small steps by step to introduce ourselves to options trading, especially bank nifty. If you guys are not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, like and share and go through all the videos for each one, for each bank nifty weekly expiries that has been uploaded. This will not take much time for you guys. It will be a small short videos that will help you to learn, understand and utilize your small amount of time to learn this option trading as a business. Let's guys move on to this trading strategy that we have executed for 20th March 2019's expiry strategy. So according to the strategy, this whole month from February to March, March entrance is meant for actually Indian time elections process. So in these times, there will be market huge fluctuations because of this BJP, uh, the provisions or future predictions that it might come. So the bank nifty or even nifty went up in such a way that you can see in this chart itself. So bank nifty was trading here, suddenly on March onwards, there is a big spike. So it's very, very tough to predict where it will end up. Most probably it is in a bull trend, but we don't know till where it reaches. So we are fresh traders, so we are not aware of this trend and all. So by this time, it's the second year that I observed this will happen on February and there is a big spike. So obviously this spike will not sustain for long times. It might come down for a few months. Not has happened in the last year, but it will come down to uh, settle for some time and then it will go up. So and this spike also expected because the last whole 2018 year is there is much, not much progress if you observe the chart. So maybe because of that the progress is going on. So let's go on to the strategy that we have built. On 20th March 2019's expiry strategy, what on 15th March around 12.15 p.m. we entered the strategy. At that time the market was trading around 26,350. So indulge capital was 1.87. So what we have done, we brought 28th March 29, 29,700 call at 215.6 two lots. It's the next next week, and then sold 20th March 29,500 calls and sold 20th March 30,000 calls at 175.85 and 46.95. All of them is in two lots. So according to that, the strategy was built something like this. So there was no problem at down downtrend, but we have kept with the uptrend at around the break even point of 29,863. For downtrend, uh, there is a small risk at 28,478, but we make sure, uh, I don't know why I have picked up because the trend was very huge and upward. So I would have capped uptrend, sorry, downtrend, uh, sorry, uptrend with unlimited instead of capping for the downtrend because, but obviously, when it comes to option trading, downtrend is very critical because market might spike up, but it will take a break. But when it go down, it will not wait. It will go down deeply. So that's why we, I have kept up because I was in a suspect that it, it will not go this much far. So it will take a break. That break might break my strategy. That's for the reason I have kept for the downtrend. So uh, according to strategy, on um, this was the executing paper training prices so by end of the uh, 20th i mean uh, it's not a thursday because thursday was a holy, uh, holy so celebration it ended on 9 uh, 20th so on our 20th on morning around uh, you see here Morning March 19th around 11:30 p.m. I 
exit from all the positions including the next week's one so uh, after exiting this was the profit that i end up with 3848 this is uh, around almost like a average of uh, let's check this average of 1.92 uh, 92 percent so this is what actually i uh, earned for the capital of 1.95 indulging so totally we are planning with the pula capital trading uh, as a paper trading but we indulged 1.2 so the one thing that i learned we should not indulge all our capital to a uh, strategy because there is a possibility of adjustment that it will save when the market goes drastic up or down so we need a capital to adjust that so better we should have at least 50 percent capital as a stagnant to adjust if in case if it goes against your strategy so still i think i left out with almost a only like some uh, 20 percent capital left 20 or 10 percent but okay fine it's learning space we'll do that uh, we'll apply so according to the strategy we end up with this three lakh three thousand so let's see the 28 march 2019 expiry strategy what we have done according to the strategy uh, we are not sure that still this bank nifty will reach further high because already the march is going to end and elections is going to take place so there might be some drop down in the drop drop up and some what you call consolidations so but not that much because still this time the election is in a positive way just to move so this is what actually strategy build it's something like the downside i have capped so that i should not have broken when market goes down so according to strategy i took a big lengthy gap it more it was around 1000 almost like a um, 1000 or 2000 um a range of break even points so for this we indulged capital was 1.95k and the bank was trading around 29,681 and we introduced at 20th i mean uh, yesterday around 12.24 pm and what we have done we sold 28 march 30,300 call at 81.92 lots and sold 28 march 29,300 at 98.9 according to this 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 will be like a sum of box type strategy and by bringing this 29,200 put at 79.62 lots we kept a uh, downtrend so that we can avoid the big loss if in case market goes down this is the strategy how it look like by picture itself it will represent where is the break point and all those things if you see here the break point is around 30,404 and there is no break point at the downturn so this is the entry points price these are all paper trading so let's see how it happens uh, how it reacts and also we might do the some adjustment if in case if it goes against in the uptrend by selling the uh, by changing this 29,300 put call by nearest something like a 29,500 put or 29,700 800 something like that by adjusting so that it will push our break end point further in this side after by adjusting the left side we should we are not going to adjust in the right side because um, this is not a, like a future weeks options so we can adjust by this and we'll uh, we can do some modification oh that's all guys from this video so hope you guys like this video if you like this comment like shares and if you have any doubts or clarification you can ping me or uh, in a comment section so that i can readily i can be happy to answer these questions before indulging our real valued money and obviously options trading option buying is a lottery and option selling is a small business that what we are going to run so if you guys like this channel please like subscribe share the videos so let's move on to this trading sheet so these sheets links as well as this document links are available in the description of this video so if you guys can go and uh, watch all the strategy executions and all those uh, sheets and these documents and uh, these are all read only so you can modify but you can watch and also in this chart we have a live update where we will track our currently executing strategies this will be updated and refreshed for five minutes and usually i will be using for one minute every minute i will refresh or i can configure this by through some uh, coding that i am familiar with so that will help you to track easily instead of opening all the charts or screens if you are familiar and want to know the strategy how is getting executed every day and day you can go to the sheets and you can track the sheets it will update you uh, with the values so as of now it's in a negative 1500 
but we will wait first and see how it goes and this is a pivot tables according to the execution every execution um, based on the exit price and based on a weekly and then based on monthly what is the profit and percentage all those things will be shown here and this is a pivot chart for basically uh, the progress that's all guys these are all rough and something so that you can track and watch so this is the document where i am updating keep on updating from every week week what is strategy that you are uh, executing and what how it got executed and what is output i ate from that so uh, you can have this link in your browser when you are working on so that you can track the strategy that what I have built so how it got executed and if I do any adjustment you will get to know and if there is any update in this that I will be sure uh, updating this sheet with this 20th entry this is an entry that if you see here uh, 30,300 call and 29,300 put and another 29,200 put brought and this is how it executed one two sell one buy and average what is the percent that i'm going to earn all those things will be shown here and any update i will be doing in this comment section and same thing will be updated in the live tab that's all guys thank you for watching this video bye bye